Hello all welcome to SourceCAD tutorial and in this tutorial I'll tell you about the distance entry methods of AutoCAD. In AutoCAD you can enter distances into a variety of ways and I will discuss all the ways by which you can enter the distance in AutoCAD. So I will start with the direct distance entry method. So in direct distance entry method I'll select a line, specify a point, then specify the direction specify any direction in this case I'm specifying horizontal direction and enter the length of line press enter now this line has been made with a length of 5 units and along horizontal direction now I, I will specify this direction enter a length of 2 unit and there it is specify this direction enter the length and so on so this is the direct distance entry method by which you can make a line or any type of any similar type of object now the second method is coordinate entry system so for coordinate entry system I will use this coordinate which is made into AutoCAD. I have already made this to make the points more clear. This is the absolute coordinate entry system and here is the default origin. Now I will specify any starting point using the coordinate. So right now I want to start my line from point 2, 3. So I will enter 2, 3 as we used to enter in the coordinate systems and press enter. Now this automatically snaps to the point 2, 3. Now next we want to specify another point the second point to a coordinate of 5 comma 6 and press enter and this automatically goes to the point 5 comma 6 even if you want to go to the negative of x in this quadrant so now go on and specify the coordinate value in this case I am specifying a coordinate value of 3 comma minus 4 and press enter and there it is it snaps automatically to the negative of y coordinate and it will automatically go to the coordinate which you specify so this is the second coordinate entry method which is built into AutoCAD now using both these methods you cannot specify angle so for specifying angle you need to follow a different rule so I'll make an angle first go to line click anywhere on the screen and now restrict this line to a certain angle now to restrict this line to a certain angle I will use this angle symbol which you can find on your keyboard which I'm showing right now on the screen so press that button using shift and that button so that makes the angle sign and now specify your angle in this case I'm entering an angle value of 30 degrees and press enter now as soon as you will do this you'll see that this line is locked to an angle of 30 degrees and now you can enter the length and I'm entering a length of 4 units and there it is so this line is of length 4 units and at an angle of 30 degrees so in this way you can make this line restricted to a certain angle now these are all the absolute distance entry methods because I am using the absolute coordinate which is this 0 comma 0 now there is one more method that is a relative coordinate entry method which you can use so now I'll use the relative coordinate entry system let's go to the line tool now and I'll select the first point somewhere over here and now now I just want to make a line which is of length 5 units but using coordinates I don't know what coordinate should be at this second point so for that I will use this at the rate symbol this at the rate symbol will tell AutoCAD that the distance which I am going to enter the coordinate actually which I am going to enter is a relative and the origin has shifted to this point the last selected point and now AutoCAD will treat this point as origin rather than treating this point as origin so now I want to make a line of length 4 units so I need to specify 4 comma 0 and press enter there it is it makes a line at the distance at the coordinate of 4 comma 0 if if you would not have used this value I will just click on this point again and I'll enter the same value 4 comma 0 but this time I have avoided the at the rate symbol which tells AutoCAD that the coordinate is relative and press enter and there you can see that it snaps to the actual 4 comma 0 point so if you want to specify your last selected point as the origin use the at the rate symbol this at the rate symbol can come in handy if you want to make this rectangle so go to this rectangle now suppose I want to start this rectangle from anywhere on the screen now 
and I just want to make this rectangle with a length of 5 units and width of 2 units. So for that I don't know the coordinates of this point, the second point which is on the cursor right now. But you can use add the red symbol here and enter the length which is 4 or say 5 and the width 2 and press enter. There it is. You have the coordinates, you have the length 5 and width 2 because this point has been selected as the origin and obviously if this point is origin this point will be 5 2 5 comma 2 so this method can be used in these situations okay so these are the distance entry methods now let's have a look at one more syntax that you can use suppose you want to make a line at a certain angle and the line should be of certain length so instead of first restricting it to a certain angle and then making it of certain length I will do it all at once for that click anywhere on the screen and now press the add the red sign and now specify length of line in this case it's 5 and then specify angle symbol and specify your angle and in this case I'm entering an angle value of 40 degrees now this will tell AutoCAD that the line we want to make a line with a length of 5 units that should be inclined at an angle of 40 degrees from the positive side of X axis and press enter and here it is we have this line which is exactly equal to 5 units you can check it using this dimensions which is exactly equals to 5 unit and which is inclined to this direction of X axis with a 40 degree angle so I hope you understood all these distance entry methods if there is any problem please let me know in the comment box and I'll make your doubts clear as soon as possible please do subscribe if you find these videos helpful and once again thanks for watching